we want to use the alternating series test to determine if the given infinite series converges or diverges, what can we conclude? So for a quick review, if we have an alternating series in this form here, where a sub n is greater than zero, the alternating series converges if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n equals zero, which is the nth term divergent test, and a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n for all n, meaning the terms are non-increasing. When we have an alternating series, we can also test for what's called conditional or absolute convergence, which we'll discuss more in a future lesson. So going back to our example, notice how a sub n, the non-alternating part, would be equal to n to the fifth divided by the square root of n to the ninth plus two. Well first notice that a sub n is always positive for all values of n, so now we'll determine the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n. Now there's a shortcut for determining this limit by looking at the degree of the numerator and denominator. Looking at the denominator first, notice how the plus two is irrelevant as n approaches positive infinity. And we can think of the denominator as just the square root of n to the ninth. And because the index is two, we can write this as n raised to the power of nine halves. So we can think of the denominator as having degree nine halves and the numerator has degree five. So because the numerator has a higher degree, as n approaches infinity, this quotient also approaches positive infinity. And since this limit is not equal to zero, the alternating series test doesn't apply and the alternating series diverges by the nth term divergent test. But if we do want to show some work here, we would divide by the highest power of n in the denominator, which would be n to the ninth under the square root. So to show some work, we can write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of, in the denominator we'd have the square root of n to the ninth divided by n to the ninth plus two divided by n to the ninth. And now for the numerator, because the n to the ninth is underneath the square root, we would divide the numerator by n to the nine halves. So we'd have n to the fifth divided by n to the nine halves. And now if we simplify, we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of, in the numerator we'd have n to the power of five minus nine halves, or ten halves minus nine halves, which would be one half. And our denominator would be the square root of one plus two divided by n to the ninth. Now in this form, notice how the denominator would approach the square root of one, or one, since this fraction approaches zero as n approaches positive infinity, and the numerator increases without bound as n approaches infinity. So therefore, the alternating series test does not apply, and because this limit doesn't equal zero, we know the series diverges by the nth term divergent test. We could also say that the absolute value of the terms doesn't approach zero as n increases, and therefore the series diverges. So before we go, I do want to look at this last condition that says a sub n plus one must be less than or equal to a sub n. Well notice a sub one would be equal to one to the fifth divided by the square root of one to the ninth plus two, which would be approximately zero point five seven seven. A sub two would be equal to two to the fifth divided by the square root of two to the ninth plus two. This is approximately 1.992. Notice how the terms are actually increasing. And let's look at one more term, a sub three would be three to the fifth divided by the square root of three to the ninth plus two. And this comes out to approximately 3.000. So notice how this last condition is also not true. a sub n plus one is not less than or equal to a sub n. But we know that the series diverges because it fails the nth term divergent test. 
I hope you found this helpful.